Hello, Nate Mullen, AKA The Illuminator here. So I wanna share a few things with you tonight. Um, <clears throat> we do all of our assembly here in our factory in San Marcos. And some of the things I'm really proud of that I learned over the past 27, 30 years is moisture migration. So now with the LED, potentially might last 10, 15, 20 years, who knows? But one thing's for sure, a lot of times these bi-pins aren't gonna last. So you're gonna take a bi-pin, you're gonna stick them in a socket. Air is gonna come in there, it's gonna introduce moisture, corrosion, wicking, only bad things happen because probably the pins are gonna deteriorate and the socket's gonna deteriorate. So we always use some type of a grease onto the sockets, whether it be a Nolux, a silicone base, dielectric grease, it could even be white lithium grease. Now I carry these things here at Direct Lighting uh, Outdoor Lifestyle because a lot of people have choices. I personally have used this for over 20, uh, probably 30, 40 years, there's no issues. Oxguard, no issues, and dielectric grease, absolutely no issue. So I thought for fun, I would go to the website and I would say white lithium grease versus some type of a dielectric. And I am very worried about going to the websites because I don't know who's posting anything. I don't know where the information comes from. And I know that I was an electrical contractor for over 15 years. And when it came to getting advice, when it came to getting knowledge, I tried to go to the people that I could respect, people that maybe mentored me, because consequences would happen if I got the wrong information. I either got turned down on the job or God forbid, maybe caught a, hit something on fire, never did. But right information, wrong information has consequences. So I went to the website and I've got a thing up here right now and I was curious. So I went, to, this form popped up and it said, hey, should I use, uh, you know, lithium grease on my electrical contacts or not? So a guy posts in, no, use dielectric grease. Another guy, nope, only thing to use is dielectric grease, otherwise known as silicone grease. This guy says, I agree with the answers. Fourth guy, well, all the, all the, all the above answers are doubly true if the connector in question is exposed to the air. White lithium grease turns into an almost unremovable hard paste when it oxidizes over time, blah, 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 right? Contrary to the naysayers, many OEM wiring harnesses used to come, uh, come with white grease and they will last 20 to 30 years. This guy says WD-40 itself will turn into a hard gooey varnish. Not sure why he posted that. This guy says, you're so right. This guy says, well, I don't disagree with this. The common silicone dielectric grease is actually an electrical insulator. Obviously that idiot doesn't even know what dielectric means. This guy says, I use Vaseline on more than just my electrical connectors for over 40 years and I'm 63 right now, he says. This guy says, absolutely correct. So we go from Vaseline to, <laughs> to silicone dielectric to not being an electric to lithium grease hardens. I don't know if these guys are all idiots. I don't know if one of these idiots know what they're talking about. So my point here is you can rest goddamn assured that when you come and you ask me what's happening, I've got tens of thousands of fixtures, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of jobs in 30 years plus experience. So when I tell you white lithium grease has never failed me in 40 years and it hasn't gotten hard and it works. Um, no locks is mandated by the National Electric Code and it's really good. I haven't really had a problem with a lot of the dielectrics. Sometimes they get runny after a while because they don't can't take a lot of heat, um, but, but they're all good. I think my favorite now is that guy. Why? Because it comes in a nice little squirt can and I've been using it for now maybe about two years. Made by a great company, CRC and uh, it's handy and I don't get the stuff all over my uh, all over my hands and all over everything but regardless we carry all of these things you may have a favorite they're all good and I'm gonna start saying illuminator approved and verified so those are the type of things we're gonna do here I'm gonna start doing product reviews on different things and uh, but anyway back 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 to um, back to what we do here so a lot of things we want to do is moisture, the introduction of air, invites condensation, 
um, can ruin a lot of things. So we, we do everything that we can to eliminate that. All right, so there's a couple things I want to emphasize about that whole dissertation right there um, of why I think I've had some several successful companies, pretty proud of what we're doing here today at Lifetime Lighting, that's my new lighting fixture uh, company, Lifetime Lighting Systems, is I don't really know how the best way to say this, so I'll just say it straight. If you came to me and you asked me how many lighting jobs I've done, I don't even know, a thousand, forty, fifty thousand lights in the ground, and that's important. I can't tell you how many jobs that I've been on, and I'm talking to a homeowner, <clears throat> and I'm telling him we're gonna we're gonna put lights in the backyard, we're gonna have create a focal point, we're establishing not only depth but the perimeter lighting. And we're going to light up the fence and we're going to do many things. And the homeowner says, I don't think we're going to do that. I don't think we're going to light up the fence and we're certainly not going to put the lights over there. And instead of getting into a fight with the homeowner, I just ask him, excuse me, how many lighting jobs have you done? And of course, the answer is none. So when you think that somebody that's done no lighting jobs and I have done a thousand lighting jobs, how do they get this thought process in their mind? What are they, what are they make, you know, doing their decision process on? So of course I'll explain why I'm doing it. I might set up a demo and of course I win and the lighting job looks amazing. Now why is this important? I think it's important because when you're at a seminar or you're being taught or lectured or somebody's telling you about product and all these different things, don't be afraid to ask them how many lighting jobs they've installed, how many things they've done because you're gonna find out a lot of these suits have never done anything and they're parodying what other people have told them. So a lot of things that I do, the innovations that I have come up with is because of many problems in the field. And over time, you figure out the solution. So one of the things that we're doing in my new product line, the product line is called Guardians of the Night. All right? And one of the main things for me was having everything to be field fixable. Now what does that mean? It means that I want every fixture to have built-in repairability. We know that this fixture can go on a job site and it's perfect and then a baseball bat comes along with a kid and knocks it over and busts the stake. So we have load and lock stake. You just take the fixture off of the stake. There's no unscrewing anything, there's no cutting the wire, there's no making a splice. It's load and lock. It can be fixed in the field. If the stake gets broken, it comes off, no harm, no foul. Now you're probably looking at this stake and you're thinking, wow, that's a pretty big base. Now, because you can remove the fixture, you can take, don't have a hammer handy, and you can beat the stake in, not a big deal, and then come back in and put the fixture. Now we all know that conventionally, the fixture's on the stake, and you gotta take your hammer now, and you gotta beat it, and of course you're hitting the stupid fixture while you're trying to beat the stake in, all right? You don't have to do that here, and it has a white platform. Now the other things that's gonna happen with field fixability, is we all know knuckles break. Kids are coming around, baseball bats again, lawnmowers, gardeners, whatever. Things happen. If that knuckle ever breaks, you just unscrew it, you put another knuckle on. The wire is going to be, it's a free floating socket here. I just didn't put it on because I didn't want to have it in my way, but it's a free floating socket. You unscrew the knuckle. What, what else happens? Lenses break, okay? So here, when a lens breaks, for whatever reason, the lens pops out and you replace the lens. I will send you a new lens and you replace it. If the hex louver breaks, where'd it go? It's right here. You just pop it out, you put another one in. So the lens goes right back in. If for whatever reason, the MR16 sets in this nice little MR16 holder, if it ever failed, it can be replaced. So every single thing on this fixture is replaceable. You'll never have to send a fixture for whatever reason back to me to have it repaired. You, you go repair it on the job site yourself or you have a few extra parts and that saves you time, saves you money, saves your clients. So everything has repairability in mind one of the things become a guardian of the night fixture my fixture line is field uh, fixability all right i'm going to be going on to the next item thanks for paying attention
All right, listen, we're going to pretty much wrap things up. But in closing, I want to tell you a few things. Um, one, I'd like to have you go buy my new books on Amazon, The Lighting Sales and Marketing Bible and The Lighting Bible. So obviously this is 100% on philosophy. The other one's on marketing, a couple hundred pages here. Um, but I also I'm going to go tonight. We're going to post a bunch of uh, more uh, videos on our website about more product information, tips and tricks. We'll be updating them weekly putting tons of stuff. If you guys have anything that you need help on installation wise, I can make a video. Make sure you call me 760-580-4980. Always here to help. Remember, oh, got my website back up. Um, hired that new guy. Not bad. It's getting, it's getting uh, prides are being put on it every day. We're populating it. And uh, thanks for paying attention again. Remember, direct lol.com. Thanks.